Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a Gcash app. Our system is currently busy problem. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, in order to fix this, there's a few different ways how we can do it. So I'm going to go through the first one, which is to check the Gcash system status. So Gcash might be down or under maintenance. So what I suggest is visit, visit their official social media pages, for example, Gcash Facebook or check news for any ongoing issues or downtime because a problem might just be on the Gcash's server side. The second fix is to force close and reopen the app. So what we need to do is click and hold down Gcash and then click on I to get in the app info. And at the bottom of the page, you want to click on force stop and then reopen it. Fix number three, we want to go ahead and check our internet connection. So if you're using Wi-Fi, switch over to mobile data or vice versa. And also consider try running a speed test or open other apps to make sure the internet is working properly. The next fix is to clear the app cache. So for Android users, click and hold down Gcash, click on I to get into app info. Now once you're here, scroll down and where it says usage, click on to storage and then click on clear cache. We can also try logging in and out of the Gcash app. And also probably you can try and reinstall or update Gcash. So we can try and update or reinstall Gcash. So go to your player app store and search for Gcash. If it says update, go ahead and update it. But if it says open, you've already got the latest software version available. So I suggest uninstalling Gcash by clicking down holding it and then uninstalling Gcash by going back into app info and at the bottom of the page uninstall it then reinstall it and if you're still having these issues I would suggest contacting Gcash support if it's super urgent so you can go to a site go to their site help.gcash.com and try messaging their support team